What is trading? A clear and neutral explanation. Trading is the process of buying and selling financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, currencies, and commodities. It is a vital component of the global financial system, allowing individuals and institutions to allocate capital and manage risk. Trading can take place on various platforms, including exchanges, over-the-counter markets, and electronic trading networks. The primary goal of trading is to generate profits by buying low and selling high or by selling high and buying low. Traders use various techniques and strategies to identify opportunities in the market, including fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and quantitative analysis. They also use different types of orders, such as market orders, limit orders, and stop orders to execute their trades. Trading can be done by individuals or institutions, and it can be a full-time or part-time activity. It requires knowledge, skills, and discipline to be successful. While trading can be lucrative, it is also associated with risks, including market volatility, liquidity risk, and counterparty risk. Therefore, traders need to have a sound understanding of the market and risk management techniques to minimize their losses and maximize their profits. Basics of trading, financial markets overview. Trading is the act of buying and selling financial instruments in the financial markets. Financial markets are where buyers and sellers come together to trade financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, currencies, and commodities. These markets are often regulated by government agencies to ensure that they operate fairly and transparently. There are two main types of financial markets, primary markets and secondary markets. Primary markets are where new securities are issued, such as initial public offerings, IAPOs, or bond offerings. Secondary markets are where existing securities are traded, such as stock exchanges or over-the-counter markets. Trading instruments. There are many different types of trading instruments that can be used to trade in financial markets. Some of the most common instruments include stocks, bonds, futures, options, and currencies. Each of these instruments has its own unique characteristics, advantages, and risks. Stocks represent ownership in a company and can be bought and sold on stock exchanges. Bonds represent debt obligations and are often issued by governments or corporations. Futures and options are derivatives that allow traders to speculate on the future price movements of underlying assets. Currencies are traded in the foreign exchange market and represent the value of one currency relative to another. Buy and sell fundamentals. When trading in financial markets, there are two basic actions that can be taken, buying and selling. Buying is the act of acquiring a financial instrument with the expectation that its value will increase in the future. Selling is the act of disposing of a financial instrument with the expectation that its value will decrease in the future. Traders use a variety of strategies to make buy and sell decisions, including technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and market sentiment analysis. Technical analysis involves using charts and other technical indicators to identify patterns and trends in price movements. Fundamental analysis involves analyzing financial statements and other economic data to determine the intrinsic value of a financial instrument. Market sentiment analysis involves gorging the overall mood and sentiment of market participants to identify potential trends and opportunities. Trading strategies. Traders use various strategies to make informed decisions about buying and selling assets. Here are some of the most popular trading strategies. Technical analysis. Technical analysis involves analyzing charts and using mathematical tools to identify patterns and trends in price movements. Traders use technical indicators such as moving averages to help them identify potential entry and exit points for trades. Technical analysis is useful for short-term trading and can be used for any asset class. Fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis involves analyzing economic and financial data to determine the intrinsic value of an asset. Traders use this information to make informed decisions about buying and selling assets. This type of analysis is useful for long-term trading and is commonly used for stocks and other securities. Risk management. Risk management is an essential part of, of any trading strategy 
Traders use various tools such as stop-loss orders to manage their risk exposure. They also use position sizing to ensure that they're not risking more than they can afford to lose. Successful traders always have a well-defined risk management plan in place. Overall, successful trading requires a combination of technical and fundamental analysis, as well as effective risk management. Traders must also be disciplined and patient as trading can be a challenging and volatile endeavor. By using these strategies and tools, traders can increase their chances of success in the markets.